You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. And today on our Motivation and Mindset Monday, I want to keep building off of our previous shows. So really over the last couple of weeks, we talked about how to break up with toxic friends. We talked about how to minimize and overcome growing pains, really, really important. We talked about figuring out what your one thing is. What is your one thing that's so, so crucial? And then last week, we talked about how there is really no destination. And once you understand that, it's just this giant relief. So check out those previous mindset motivations over the past four weeks. But today, what we're going to talk about is this, like, okay, so you get all of those concepts, but now what? Well, the first step is this, like, why is it that some people even take that first step? Not everyone does. Not everyone ever takes that first step. I would say it's actually a small minority that does. Most people want to achieve bigger things in life. They might want to even transition jobs, like, to a totally different career field. They might want to really, like, talk with that person that they just find really intriguing that they might want to maybe one day develop into a relationship. Some people, they're saying like, okay, everyone in my family is sick. Everyone's always been sick as far as I can remember, but I don't want to be sick. So how do I not be sick anymore? Or I come from a long line of people who are overweight. Everyone's overweight in my family. It just must be our genetics. Well, you know, true and not true, right? So everything in our past is a part of us. And you can look at it as, yes, there is genetics as well. But then we have this beautiful thing called epigenetics. And that means that our, literally our lifestyle and our environment, that includes food, that includes people, that includes stress, includes everything. It's everything that surrounds us. Well, that epigenetics accounts for 95% of everything that we are. So we literally get to change the input to our genetic code It's kind of like having the right keys to unlock the right doors. You need the right keys. And, but if you don't, if you allow the environment, the stress, the cortisol, the estrogen, the toxins, the PCBs, the plastics, all those things to influence you, well, yes, of course, the genetic expression will be there, but that does not have to be our destiny. That does not have to be our life. We can rewrite our life, but we have to do one thing first. And that one thing is this, and it's the hardest. It's easy for me to say, but it is hard to implement. But every one of us can do this. And I had to do it myself. And that first step is believing. Believing that you can actually achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. Because I'll tell you, a lot of people say it. A lot of people say they have goals, but they don't actually believe it. They'll say they might even believe, but they don't at a subconscious level. And it's that subconscious belief. It's that voice inside of you. You need that voice inside of you to agree, right? That's ultimately what we think our conscious is very, very small because our conscious is built upon our subconscious, which is the collection of everything that's kind of happened in the past to us and that we've seen that's there to protect us. And so by us changing our environment, that's actually scary because we know our current environment. Our current environment is something that we've learned to live with. It might not make us happy, without a doubt, but we know how to deal with it. And so believe it or not, it can be much scarier to change, even if the end goal brings happiness. It brings joy and it brings satisfaction and fulfillment. It's a big step for a lot of people. So what do you do? Well, you talk to yourself. You literally have conversations with yourself and your subconscious. And you say this, I don't know Maybe I don't know if we'll ever achieve that, but here's what I'm going to do. I at least want to try. I want to take the first step. I'm going to suspend disbelief. It's one of my favorite sayings, just suspend disbelief. You don't think that you can achieve whatever X is, but just for a minute, just say, maybe I could, maybe I can. What would that look like? And start to then focus on what would life feel like when you achieve that goal? What would you be doing? Where would you be living? How would you be feeling? What types of people would you be hanging out with? 
All of those things, start to visualize that because you need a focal point. Now, again, this isn't just all visualization, but you need a focal point on then what to drive towards. And that's where the action comes in. But it is hard. And why is it hard? Well, because you have to use blind trust. You have to use faith. And that's something that's really challenging, you know, especially in our Western-based mentality and philosophy, that we're numbers-based, we're analytical. We'll just say like, well, show me how I can do that. Tell me the strategic path to doing that. And I will, I'm going to share that in a moment. But for a lot of us, we don't know it. We haven't seen it. We just haven't been there. We haven't done that because of course, if we had, well, then it'd be easy for us, right? We would believe. So I want you to think of this. There are things right now in your life that you have already achieved. Maybe they seem small to you, but you know what? They're probably far greater than other people have in their life. So the career, the relationship, whatever it might be, it it might be a step up. It might be something that you have achieved. That's what we're looking to build upon. I'm telling you right there, you're not going to jump from point A to point X or Z, right? That's not how it works. You're going to walk from A to B to C, maybe jump D and then move right to E, right? But you're going to take small steps. And here's why. You're going to collect small wins along the way. What is that going to do? It's going to allow you then to feel each win, to think about it, to have gratitude, to appreciate, and to understand that you're growing. And you can start to see the trajectory. So a real world example would be this. Inside our body transformation studios in Boston, We want people to get quick wins right away. They may have never succeeded before in losing the weight or transforming their body. What we want that first week is at least two to three pounds of weight loss. Now, maybe again, they've never had any weight loss success or it's been years since they've dropped any pounds. And now the first week they're losing like three to five pounds. That's our average. So if you're losing that, and again, this is not on the Dr. Ball Detox, which is much higher. This is just following our nutrition plan exercising a couple times a week. That is their first win. Now, what does that do? Well, it motivates them to do week two. And what do we do during week two? We lose another couple pounds. That motivates them to do week three. What happens during week three? Another 1% at least of their body weight. And now we've shown them the path based on our trajectory right now. And you've heard me talk about this on previous Mindset Motivation Mondays. You know, you can basically build out a model of when you're going to achieve your goal. But either way, you know that you're now moving in the right direction. It is those small wins that all add up because it's never one thing in our life that allows us to accomplish anything. That's the secret that most people miss out on. And I I, believe me for what a decade I missed out on it as well. I didn't understand that nothing happens overnight that let's just say like a podcast for this. You start out with maybe one listener. Maybe it's your mom. Like That's it. And then what happens from there? You simply grow and you start to grow upon each win. But each step along the way, it's starting to build your confidence, which is really what we're talking about, right? Believing is about self-image and it's about confidence. It's about thinking, you know what? I've never done this before, but I know other people have. So why can't I? That's essentially the saying. Why not me? Think about that all day long. Why not me? Why them? Why not me? Why? Yes, them too, but me as well. So you don't have to exclude ever someone. You don't have to push others down to get to your goal. It should always be about building up, building up, building up. That's what it's all about. But build up yourself along the way as well. Why not? Like, why do you have to stay at the bottom? That shouldn't be your goal. Your goal should be to rise to whatever your top is. And again, that's always subjective. Not everyone's goal is financial. Not everyone's goal is spiritual. Not everyone's goal is weight loss. Not everyone's goal is to get well, whatever it is. Everyone has their own individual goal and they see that as what they're looking to achieve. That's what they're going to get fulfillment from. But again, each win builds confidence and it gets you to start to believe. You might not be all the way there yet, and that's okay. That's also why I say this. Continue every day to listen to podcasts and read books that inspire you. Just 30 minutes a day. That's it. 30 minutes ideally before bed or upon waking or 15 minutes upon waking, 15 minutes before bed. What does that do? It sets you up for the day and then it fills your head, not with the depressing news out there. Nobody needs to be watching all this sensationalistic news. But what you can do is put thoughts into your head that you now go to sleep with of all the possibilities, the suspension of disbelief and reading books and listening to podcasts and listening to people's stories that share real success stories of real people who have achieved real world results that you want for yourself. And you start to understand that these are real people. They have no special skills. They're the same as you. So why not you? 
When you understand why not you, you can say, oh, well, yes, why not me? Why can't I achieve those things? Of course you can. Of course you can. Anyone can achieve anything that they put their mind to. Now, some things will be harder for other people to achieve than others because it's not within their wheelhouse. It's not within their talent pool. However, because we're all, we are born with innate skills. There's no doubt about that. But most skills can be learned. They really can. So follow your passion. That's a dead giveaway to what your skills are because we like to do things typically that we're good at as well. We know that that's human nature. So one of my last points is this as well. Start to teach other people as well. Friends, family. Once you do that, the cycle continues, meaning that you grow just from teaching alone. But then people often then view you as more of an expert in this particular topic, which only then compounds it and makes you want to learn more and live it more, if not for yourself, but then for others. I found that in my own life as well. Really, everything backs everything else up. And the last part would be this. Once you're moving along your path, when, if available and if possible, and you can find the right coach, that right coach or someone to keep you accountable will just shorten your learning curve. They will give you the demonstration of the system that they used that you can then just copy. Really, success is all about copying models that work. Someone wants to get rid of candida, SIBO, digestive issues, they do our SIBO candida protocol or our candida and bacterial overgrowth protocol. Someone wants to get rid of parasites, they do our parasite protocol. Why? It's because we've done this in clinical practice for many years, right? We know it works. We have no allegiance to any brands. We have no allegiance to anything except for what works. So what I'm saying is, let's say it's career-wise. Who could you mentor under? Who could you give a couple hours of free work per week that they might then mentor you in exchange, right? How can you give them value so that they might then provide you with value? What I found is this. A lot of successful people are more generous than you would think. They actually want to help other people succeed. They just know a lot of people around them maybe aren't willing to do the work that it does take to be successful. Any area of life. This is not about any one particular area. But once you demonstrate you are committed, you're willing to do the work, that you're willing to see it through, that this is what you are meant to do, that this is a goal that means too much to you to not accomplish. If you do that and you prove it to someone, I'm telling you, more times than not, they will be willing to help. Now, again, everyone only has so much time. They can only help so much people. But I guarantee you, they will at least point you in the right direction. They will say, this is where I studied. These are the books I studied. These are the podcasts I may have listened to. Or maybe something like we do with the Cabral House Call is you submit a question and then you get a place to get started. You try that for 90 days, then you submit another question. So what I'm saying is this, the bottom line is because I don't want to get off topic, is that in order to be successful in life, in order to achieve whatever that goal is, is you do have to believe but not in the beginning. In the beginning, you simply have to suspend disbelief and saying, why not me? And then move your feet, right? I know that I'm going to butcher this, but there's a really nice armor saying that goes, when you pray, move your feet. And I really like that. And and again, I don't know know, too much about the armor's culture, but I do find the community very intriguing to me. And I, I like a lot of what they stand for. But when you pray, move your feet, meaning like, believe, move in that direction. You can even suspend disbelief in the beginning, but then just start to move forward. Daily small wins. Don't try to hit a home run. Try to literally bunt and get on first base. That's it. And then just keep still second base. Just kind of keep moving along for terrible baseball analogies. But really what you need to do is understand that you will not, there is no goal that's worthwhile that you accomplish tomorrow or next week. What you do, like I talked about in previous Mindset and Motivation Mondays, you start to become the person who's worthy of achieving that goal. And that's when it happens. I want to leave it with that for today. I appreciate you tuning in to every Cabral concept. I love these motivation and mindset Mondays. Honestly, uh, like I always say, as much therapy as it is for anyone else, for myself. And uh, again, once again, I truly appreciate each and every listen. Thank you and have a great day. Did you know that the body really only becomes sick or imbalanced in only two ways? Over time, you become deficient in vital nutrients and you also accumulate toxins internally and from the environment. As those nutrients diminish and you increase your total toxic load, your body then begins to show the first signs of dis-ease. It's actually quite predictable and the good news is that if we know how you began to fill up that proverbial rain barrel, We also know how to empty it to begin the healing process. 
I was fortunate enough to learn this ancient healing process from my mentor after suffering from debilitating diseases for close to a decade. It was only when I began to implement these techniques did I finally overcome my illnesses and go on to live a life of energy and vitality that I now enjoy. I'd like to share with you now what I discovered after traveling all over the world and how to combine the best of ancient healing wisdom with state-of-the-art science. Allow me to teach you exactly how I've been able to help over a quarter of a million people to empty their rain barrel and begin to transform their body and lives into what they've always hoped they could be. To get your copy of the international bestseller, The Rain Barrel Effect, simply go to stephencabral.com forward slash rain barrel.